Okay, so should you modify your camera for astrophotography? Now this is a question that uh, you are going to ask yourself uh, sooner or later and uh, I've been actually avoiding this question because uh, I think it's uh, purely opinion based but anyway, let's just uh, get into the video. So I'm not really sure where to start this topic but uh, I like to keep my videos short that's why I'll come uh, straight to the point and tell you that uh, if you want to do some uh, deep sky astrophotography you should probably modify your camera uh, as soon as you can. Now I know that there's a bunch of lists out there where you can find uh, objects which you can image uh, without a modified uh, camera but uh, when I look at those and see that uh, oh you can image uh, galaxies and a uh, planetary nebula uh, to me it seems uh, a bit silly because 90% of the galaxies and planetary nebula uh, are so small in the night sky that you will have to spend uh, a hefty amount of money on, uh, on gear which will give you the performance to, to get a decent image plus you can get some really sweet uh, details uh, if you image with an H-alpha filter but yeah if you just plan to do some uh, wide field uh, Milky Way shots uh, obviously you don't need it on that but uh, even on those I saw some uh, images that are on a completely different level if uh, the camera was modified. You really don't need a modified camera if you are going to image planets, the moon or the sun or if we are also taking into account uh, comments comments if we also take into account uh, comets and uh, the northern lights for those you really don't need but uh, for all the rest uh, i would say that there's a huge benefit of uh, having a modified camera and if you hear that you just need to increase your exposure times to get the red color well then think again because unless uh, you live under perfectly dark skies you will have a hard time capturing the red light before your image uh, gets uh, completely washed out from uh, all the light pollution the problem is that most of the signal that you will try to capture is at the end of the red spectrum and the IR cut filter that's in your stock camera blocks uh, most of that light. It works perfectly well for imaging during the day but uh, for most deep sky objects uh, the IR cut filter is just uh, pure evil. And again just uh, get yourself uh, a used DSLR modify it and I think that uh, that's uh, that's really the best solution. You are actually not just uh, fighting the IR cut filter but uh, all the color cameras have a very similar color arrangement of the pixels which again is not uh, really suited for for astrophotography in particular the nebulae because uh, half of the pixels that are on your sensor uh, are uh, sensitive to green light uh, one quarter of those are sensitive to red light and uh, the last quarter to blue light and that's why most experienced uh, astrophotographers uh, recommend to use a mono camera but, uh, but yeah that's a completely different topic. My point is that you don't have a lot of buckets that uh, gather the red part of the spectrum and uh, to leave a filter that blocks uh, even those uh, few photons that are hitting your pixels uh, on it just, it just doesn't make any sense to me. A common thing that you will hear is you don't need a modified camera in the beginning. But I would say that that's exactly what you need because uh, you don't want to make the experience even harder. But anyway, before I start to really force my opinion, I would just like to mention that the biggest improvement that I saw in my astrophotography uh, right after buying the mount is to modify the camera. This is the cheapest and the biggest improvement that you can make because after that uh, steps towards improvement are getting smaller and smaller and uh, really expensive. And again, this is just uh, my opinion. If, uh, if you have a different one, please uh, do share it. But uh, I think that that's about it for this video. If you have any questions, type them in the comments. Uh, and yeah, I would like to thank you for watching and see you again next time. Take care. Bye.